let me ask you all a question. If someone works hard, is a respectable member of society, and treats themselves to a Gucci bag, second hand or whatever, then does that mean they deserve to die? Furthermore, what does that say about the sick and twisted person who was jealous enough to try and steal the guy's luxury item in the first place? It's pure and utter greed. So this psycho, 23-year-old Samuel Adubaton, from Longheath Gardens in Croydon, attacked and killed 24-year-old Tyler Roy in the early hours of Wednesday, February 26th, all because this guy couldn't be bothered to get up off his ass and work, or sell his items for cash at cash converters, or sell a kidney. According to the Metropolitan Police, the vicious attack took place in Bywood Avenue, Croydon, just minutes away from Tyler's home. Samuel Odupaton appeared at Croydon Crown Court on Tuesday and was found guilty of murder and will be sentenced at the same Crown Court on Monday the 7th of December. Tyler Roy was a good person. He wasn't a part of a gang, didn't put on a front and think to himself as some kind of gangster. He was an ordinary person that worked as a hotel concierge. And because he decided they wanted to treat himself to a second-hand Gucci bag, another person, Samuel, saw him as a target. Because of this, Tyler was stabbed in the back, not once, not twice, but three times. That means that Tyler was targeted. It wasn't a face-to-face confrontation where Tyler could manage to make a run for it, or escape, or at least fight back and defend himself. This was a vicious and cowardly action, where Tyler was stabbed in the back and stomach. It's not certain who called paramedics, but paramedics did arrive at the scene of the crime in Croydon. In fact, they worked on him until his arrival at the hospital, but unfortunately, he later died in surgery. The court heard that on the evening of Tyler's death, he had finished work at 11pm, and on his way home, when he boarded the tram at East Croydon Station, Samuel Odubaton entered the same carriage as Tyler. CCTV footage captured Odubaton slowly moving between the carriage, attempting to get closer to Tyler. Detectives believe Odubaton had set eyes on Tyler's Gucci messenger star bag, which had Bengal tigers on it. Tyler got off the tram at Arena Station, but little did he know he was being followed by a disgusting human being. And probably the most terrible thing about the entire situation is Tyler was walking home while on the phone to his girlfriend. You can imagine what happened next. His girlfriend heard a stranger say, bro, bro. A little while after that moment, his girlfriend was unaware that her boyfriend had just been stabbed in the back and stomach before Adubaton fleed the scene. To be honest, Tyler showed a lot of courage and a lot of strength. Despite being stabbed five times, he managed to make it to a friend's house where he was able to raise the alarm. That's when he collapsed inside the property. Police said one of the stab wounds was so severe that it measured 15 centimetres and had even cut through with Tyler's lungs and aorta. Imagine the force Odupaton put into each blow. Along with the Gucci bag, Tyler had a box of donuts he was bringing home to his family. He also had an iPhone and, of course, the Gucci messenger bag. Two items were found at the scene of the crime. The messenger bag was the only item that was missing. I do pretend was a predator in every sense of the word. This was a person you would not want as an enemy, let alone a friend. This was a person who would literally feel no way to stab you in the back. Jealousy, greed, dishonesty disloyalty. These are all the traits that Adupaton possessed. The Met Specialist Crime Command, Homicide, quickly launched an investigation into the murder and was able to place Adupaton at the scene of the crime. They placed him boarding the tram. They even placed him moving seats at various times in order to close the distance between an unexpecting Tyler and himself. They were even able to trace his movements when he followed Tyler after getting off at Arena Station and walking home. Officers attended Adupaton's address on the 1st of March to search the premises. After a rigorous search was conducted, they were unable to find the Gucci bag, nor the jacket he was wearing, trousers and trainers that was worn on the night of the murder. The compulsive liar and the disloyal friend told the police the jacket worn at the scene of the crime was lent to him by a friend, and he had given it back, but was caught out when his ex-girlfriend admitted she had brought the jacket as a gift for him. After examination on his phone, police also found videos of this idiot driving a car while brandishing knives for some reason. He must have thought he was cool. Police also found searches of designer bags that he had either been pictured with wearing or wanted. I just want to say I'm actually happy that Adupaton also incriminated himself. Mere hours after this idiot committed the murder, Adupaton had been sent images of the crime scene, revealing that he had told people about the crime. If this wasn't enough, Adupaton also performed his own Google searches on the crime scene and actually Googled post-mortems. As well as murder, Adupaton was also charged with four robberies, which he pled guilty to at an earlier hearing. 
The robberies took place between September and October last year. One victim was a woman. The three other victims were men or teenage boys, in which they were all assaulted during the robbery, with a knife used on one of the victims. The verdict is unanimous. Tyler's mum said, A Dupatent is an evil predator, an opportunist who preyed on my son for a bag. He robbed my son of his precious life. He is a danger to society and has no real regard for human life. I hope this our life rots in prison. Like, I hope he has the worst time ever. And you know what? Good riddance, because he is a scumbag. Safe.